Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behene. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. In today's video, I am gonna be trying the underpainting method. If you don't know what that is, but I mean, if you're into makeup, you obviously should know what that is. But if you don't know what that is, it's basically the process where you do your concealer, contour, all of that good stuff. You basically underpaint before you do your foundation and the rest of that stuff. So it's been trending. People have been trying it and I am here for it. I want to do it too. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be doing. I have my product all set out. I low-key don't know how I feel about it. I low-key feel like... Cause I, 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 to know how this is gonna go let's all do this together you know we're all gonna be doing it together keep on watching if you want to know how this goes um give me a huge thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that and yeah let's get into the video my loves okay 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 um but like i said in the beginning of the video it's not going to be like the regular makeup routine so basically you do your concealer and everything before you do your foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and start i'm gonna go ahead and start with my primer i talk very fast sometimes um but i'm gonna go ahead and start with my primer for primer today we're using the fenty beauty soft matte primer this is a process that i've tried before you know and i see but not the way that the internet is putting it now you know you could just do your concealer and everything before you do your makeup but now it looks like you're it's like something that has become a whole thing and then people go overboard with their concealers like i've seen people use like really really light concealers i'm like oh my god next up will be to do my concealer so i'm gonna do um la girl wait what am i saying l'oreal l'oreal infallible pro matte concealer this is in a shade 4.15. I'm gonna leave all the products in the description box below just in case anyone wants to You know try them out, um, but I'm going light. I mean I'm going step by step with my concealer I am using my regular concealer first and then I'll probably top it up with a lighter one because I don't want to use just a lighter Concealer and then not be able to work my way around it. You know, like I don't want that So I'm just gonna use my regular concealer apparently you have to do literally the same process that you do people even go like super super overboard with their concealers and like i said people make it look very white but at the end of the day it still comes out looking okay so hopefully <laughs> hopefully if i do that it's gonna come out looking okay because this is giving my stomach a little bit of a scare it better go well oh my god Shout outs to this beauty blender, by the way. This is the e.l.f. beauty sponge. The best thing that you can ever ask for in a sponge. So soft. I think that this concealer dries down quicker than I thought. The good thing is that my sponge is still dumb. Oh, I look so funny. I look so funny. I look so funny. Oh my god. Why would they suggest that people do stuff like this? Like, why? I mean, it's not like it, somebody suggested I did it myself. <laughs> I'm literally here by my own doing. My own doing. You know when you have your foundation on, you know how to blend it in? Like, now this is my skin. And my skin is way too dark. So then now I feel like, how do I blend it into my skin? Or I don't have to care about blending it into my skin. I just have to leave it till my foundation is on. Like, what should I do? Is this the right thing to do? Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under my eye with a much more lighter concealer, just in the inner corners of my eye, you know, because this is supposed to be under painting, so it's supposed to work. This is the NYX Born to Glow concealer, by the way, in the shade Golden. So this is not supposed to be like super light, but it is light. Ooh. Akusia. Now you're going overboard. You might as well just end the concealer here and continue with your contour. And this stuff dries down quicker too. Because I have a feeling that when I put my foundation over it, it probably will cover 
a lot of like my concealer job they don't look bad it topped up kind of nice <laughs> i look so funny um but for contour i'm gonna go ahead and just use juvia's place this is the juvia's place concealers that that came out a few i think a year ago or so but this is in, in the shade one which means a very dark don't mess me up but this because it's under painting i just want to give it another try you know let me start with my forehead please make sense 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 is it too oh my god oh my god oh my god comment down below guys what do you think <laughs> you think it's gonna go well are you scared like i am right now because i am almost about to shit my pants but the contour didn't entirely come out looking bad i'm i'm gonna use some of my concealer to do the reverse contour on a regular day i probably wouldn't use my concealer to do this because i hardly ever use my concealer to do reverse contour but because it's under painting we're just gonna do that you know for the culture and i'm just gonna hope that i'm just gonna hope that she is okay and i'm trying as much as possible to show you guys every step you know so that it's not like i cut out the camera and go and do something or go and work around something and come back and show you so i want to show you every step as i go through it you know so that if we fail we fail you know and i see this is one of the videos or this is like one of the makeup looks that I, I said to myself you know what if if this fails it fails because this is my first time doing like extreme underpainting like this it's not bad you know so this is a concealer job that i did or that i've done and this is what it's gonna be i'm not gonna put on any more concealer when i put on my foundation so i am going to do my foundation with hopes that all of this still shows up beneath my makeup <sighs> okay so for foundation i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible pro matte 24 hour foundation this is in the shade 540 and hopefully this foundation has a red undertone so hopefully it balances everything out because my under eye concealer is a lot more golden and then my contour is very dark <laughs> very dark so hopefully a red undertone will just give it that whole nice color that i need for my skin it better do like it really better do the job <laughs> because i'll be so mad if it doesn't i'll be so mad <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Isn't this going to be too much product on my face? I don't know how I feel about this. But I gotta do it anyway because... Oh my god. Should I cover the concealer? What should I do? Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you guys tell me? I feel like... I feel like it's so much product. This is supposed to be labeled full face. Okay, the, con the foundation is definitely doing the job. Covering it up. Really nice. I'm here for it. But don't cover up my concealer, little girl. Do not. I like for my under eye to show. So do not dare. If I don't want it to cover my under eye, what should I do? But it did cover up nice. And the contour and everything. <laughs> Do you guys see? Oh, I think it's doing the job. I think it's doing the job. And you don't need so much foundation to cover up because there is coverage. Like there is. See, I have, I put the foundation behind my powder just so I could use it. But I'm just trying to say that because I have product on, it is totally unnecessary to use so much product for like my foundation and everything again because then it will be like a cause 90 kind of job but i'm not mad it actually gives you like a really smooth base do you guys see this and you don't have to conceal again i'm so happy 
oh i probably just might be incorporating a lot of i might just be doing this a lot mm. my face looks way smoother and my under eye looks way better is it just me like i want you guys to tell me like <gasps> let's stop for a second let's look at her face wait <laughs> okay so um next i'm gonna set my under eye or my concealed areas with my translucent powder this is the s Pond loose face powder i'm taking this powder because it's light and i feel like i needed to brighten up my under eye just a little bit you know so i'm gonna just use that Let me just say that I'm actually very impressed. I thought that there was no way that my concealer, I mean my foundation was going to be able to cover up. Even though I've seen it in videos, you know. Um, I just thought that it wasn't going to work for me because I don't know why. <laughs> but I am impressed. I am really impressed. Like, I am highly, highly impressed. Alright guys, so I did my, I decided to do my eye area off camera because... I didn't see why I should add it to the video. This is under painting, so then it means that it's purposely supposed to be about my face. Um, so yeah, I thought that it was going to feel like that. I thought that it was going to feel heavy on my face and it was going to look very different from my neck because my neck is essentially very dark than every part of my body. Like I am very light hair. My face is okay my body is okay but my neck is always so dark i don't know what it is um it's just what it is so i'm always very particular when i'm doing my makeup even though sometimes i try to overlook it but <laughs> even though sometimes i try to overlook it but see no matter how close i get to the camera she still looks okay and i'm impressed i'm actually very impressed i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my maybelline fit me 370 absolute favorite setting powder I'm so happy with the contour and everything. No matter how much I try to cover up the contour, she still shows up. I'm probably going to be doing this a lot of the times. So I feel like this actually makes my work faster because then my concealer and everything is done, you know. So it makes it very easy for me to just top it up with my foundation and boom, boom, bam, I'm done, you know. Next is my blush from Nika K Duo. Every product will be in the description box below, but I usually use the orange blush because that's the only thing that is going to give your dark skin that kind of blushy look. You know what I mean? Next one will be my highlighter. This is from Too Faced. It's their Illuminator. I really like this stuff. It's subtle, but also it definitely does give you like a proper glow. See? It's very like subtle, but then you do see a glow. You know before when highlighters became a thing? Let's just say this for a second. You know when highlighters became a thing? People were really going overboard. Let me not just say people. I'm guilty. Because I was also going overboard with my highlighters. I would, you would legit see me put gold here like real gold <laughs> i mean like a proper gold will be here and then it will be so visible i thought that that was the way to do a highlighter because that was the way everybody made it look like you know when it first came when it first became a trend and everybody just started hopping on highlighters you put highlighters on your nose and stuff like that like it was really a trend and people were really into it and i was into it too <laughs> I don't do so much nose contour, just so that you guys know. <laughs> Even though I did that beneath. Did I do it beneath? I don't think that... Oh, see? I didn't use my concealer. I didn't use the contour product to do my nose contour. I didn't define my nose with a contour product. That's why you guys can't see it. <laughs> but I'm not so much into nose contour anyway, so... We move. <laughs> now I'm going to set my face, my entire face, with the Maybelline Lasting Fix. You better speak to me nice because, yo. <laughs> okay, so the full face is done. I 
um, I just put on some lip gloss. These are from Wet n Wild. They are their Mega Last Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. I don't know if they still have this. I think they discontinued it because I've had this for a long time. Um, but yeah, that's I basically have these two shades on, like a darker version of nude and a lighter version of nude. Okay, but this is the full face. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually very excited you know why because in the beginning I thought that um, this whole underpainting method wasn't gonna go in my favor you know honestly I thought that my skin was just gonna go off and my concealer was just gonna be a little too much you guys saw it in the beginning I was scared but now let me just say that I'm gonna be incorporating everything that I did today into my makeup routine like I will definitely be doing underpainting. It's not as hard as it looks on social media or on, on the internet. It's not hard at all. Like, it's very, very easy to do. Just do your concealer, do your contour, just that you can actually use deeper products for your concealer and your contour. As you guys saw, I used a very dark contour shade and contour wear. Um, I want you to comment down below what you think generally about the entire thing. Is this something that you're going to try? Is this something that's making you feel a little, um, you know what, I'll just stay away from this and just stick to what I already know. That's what I thought too, but I love it. So you, you people wait, let's, let's, let's gather around and talk for a second. You know concealer is actually supposed to conceal things, which is basically to hide things. So it sort of makes sense if you try to conceal before you put your foundation on top because i would like to hide my skin concerns before i put my foundation on top is it just me it feels good like it feels it doesn't feel heavy on my skin i don't feel like i have a full face of makeup on no i don't even feel like i have a full face of makeup on first of all i just want to say that i'm impressed like i didn't think that it was going to make this much sense but it actually makes a lot more sense to conceal before you put your foundation on like it makes a lot more sense to do that it makes a lot more sense because then it even makes your face way way smoother i am here for it like i am so happy yeah but that's that's gonna be it for today's video i'm happy that i could try this makeup is all about trying and erroring and learning so you try you make a mistake you learn and then you're moving for it if this failed you know honestly i've just posted it as is and then showed you guys that it failed you know i don't care if it failed i know how to do makeup either ways so um keep trying doing i mean keep trying to do different things with your makeup keep playing with your makeup no way you're going out anyway like when you're on your own and you're free and you can try <laughs> keep trying do things that you see on the internet master it that's the only way you're gonna get good at like your makeup steps and everything um but yeah i am gonna go away now give this video a huge thumbs up because if you don't then what are you doing give this video a huge thumbs up because i love it so i figure you like it too um yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much for always coming back i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye Thank you.